Good day everyone! For today's topic, we will discuss the Unit 7, the Voluntarism. But before we begin, here's the overview and lesson objectives of this lesson. Overview. This unit shall orient you on the definition and importance of volunteerism. Likewise, the unit will show you the importance of volunteerism as a tool and mechanism in the attainment of genuine development. Lesson objectives. After this lesson, you must define volunteerism. Identify the elements of volunteerism and appreciate the role of the youth in strengthening volunteerism and the importance of voluntary action. Before we move on to our main topic, let us first explain one of Oscar Wilde's famous line or quotation, which is the small act of kindness is worth more than the grandest intention. So it is about the what you do and what you think. For example, kung daan naman kalaki yung intention mong tumulong kung nasa isip mo lamang ito at hindi mo magawa, parang wala din, di ba? It is useless if we only think about it without any have the intention to do it. But some people do a small deed without even have the intention. So, it is really about the thing that matters. Kahit maliit pa yan, Basta nakatulong ka, sobrang mahalaga na yun para sa mga taong natulungan mo. What is volunteerism? So it is defined here that volunteerism is an act or practice or principle of contributing one's time, talents, and resources freely to worthwhile purposes without tangible compensation. Volunteerism is the taking of initiative or letting oneself in for the benefit of another without expecting in return. So, volunteerism is an act involving a wide range of activities. Kasama dito ang pagtutulungan ng bawat isa, pagunlad, mga intervention that provide enabling and empowerment work both on the part of the beneficiary in tumatanggap ng tulong and the volunteers yung nagbibigay ng tulong. Isinasagawa ito para sa mga reasons na nagmumula sa sosyo, developmental, orientasyong pangnegosyo, paninindigan o paniniwala para sa pagkakamit ng kabutihan sa publiko, wherein ang monetary and other incentives or reward are not primary motivating factors. Based on my own research, volunteerism in the Philippines is a deep rooted since volunteer activities have been practiced for generations. The word Bayanihan Tas retools all traditions of values and is often characterized as mutual assistance. For example, community members help each other's members to transport their house to a specific location. So, the word bayanihan can, can be seen as a traditional Philippine expression of the so-called volunteerism. By volunteering, you are doing an unselfish activity that places the welfare of the other people ahead of your personal concerns. Volunteers receive nothing but gain self-worth self-respect, and fulfillment in their hearts. Tama naman po, di ba? Napakasarap tumulong kahit walang kapalit na matanggap. Isang salamat lang sa atin, punong-puno na yung puso natin. Nararamdaman niyo ba yun? Di ba, napakasarap sa feeling na makagawa tayo ng mabuti sa kapwa natin, especially if we didn't hesitate of doing such thing. Dapat kapag tumutulong tayo bukal sa puso natin kasi kung napilitan lang tayo, hindi natin matatawag sarili natin na genuinely volunteering kasi napilitan lang tayo eh. We need to be genuine also and lagi din dapat natin isipin na hindi ito tungkol sa pagpapasikat. Kasi di ba yung iba, iniisip nila na kapag nag-volunteer silang tumulong, sisikat na sila. Puso na kasi ngayon yung may nagbibideo-video, di ba ginagawa na rin itong vlog and... 
once na sumikat yung footage na yun, aakalain ng maraming tao na ang galing-galing naman nila, tumutulong sila kahit na walang kapalit. Without knowing na yung nasa isip ng tao na gumawa nung tulong na yun ay para sumikat lang siya at pagkakitaan ito. Volunteering allows you to connect in your community and make it a better place. Volunteering is a two-way street. It can benefit you and your family as much as the cause you choose to help. Dedicating to your time as a volunteer helps you make new friends, expand your network, and boost your social skills. So later on, we will discuss further these benefits and some other benefits of volunteering. These are the four elements of volunteerism. The first element is selflessness. Volunteers are those individuals who are committed to solving a problem in society not for any direct economic benefits but with the objective of putting smiles on the face of others. As English novelist George Eliot rightly wrote, what do we live for if not to make life less difficult for others? Before I explain that, let me define selfless. Selfless means that having no concern for self or ibig sabihin, mas concern tayo sa pangangailangan ng iba kaysa sa pangangailangan ng sarili natin. Being selfless helps us identify and connect with others. So bakit nga ba mahalaga ang selflessness sa pagbo-volunteer? Dahil kailangan na ibinibigay natin ang buong sarili natin pag tumutulong tayo. Sabi nga nila, to be a volunteer is to be selfless. After all, we are giving up our own time and resources to help others without receiving anything tangible in return. Balikan natin yung quote na, What do we live for if not to make life less difficult for others? Di ba tama naman kasi baka ito talaga ang purpose natin sa buhay, ang mapagaan ng buhay ng iba at makatulong sa kanila. The next one is sacrifice. To sacrifice simply means to give up something valuable in order to attain a desired objective. Sometimes, to show love will mean to give but give until it hurts. And that's what sacrifice is all about. Let me give another definition of sacrifice. Sa isang malawak na pangunawa, ang sakripisyo ay nangangahulugan na pagsuko at pagbitiw sa mga bagay-bagay na mahalaga o ninanais natin, like time, money, and energy. Ang mga ito ay tinatalikura natin para sa kapakanan ng isang bagay na mas kailangan, mas karapat dapat, o higit na mahalaga. Kung walang mga ito, ay walang pagkakaisa at pakikipagtulungan. For me, mas maganda na maubos yung oras at pera natin sa pagtulong kaysa sa mga walang kwentang bagay. At least we know that all our sacrifices have good results. Sabi nga nila, give until it hurts. Dahil alam mo na may nagawa o na itulong ka kapag nasaktan at nasugatan ka. Magiging worth it ang lahat ng ating sakripisyo dahil it's for a better community and a better world. So, the next element is service. One question that keeps ringing in the mind of well-meaning volunteers is that, What can I do in my own small way to contribute to healing the world and making it a better place? Let me define service first. Service is defined as someone or something that is intended to provide help to those providing assistance to others. So bilang estudyante, saan nga ba tayo pwedeng magbigay servisyo o mag-volunteer? Pwede sa charitable organization, campus events, youth organization and community organization. Balikan natin yung tanong na what can I do in my own small way to contribute to healing the world and making it a better place? The answer to that question is to give service. Especially now na may nararanasan tayo na pandemic, mas kailangan natin magtulungan para mas mapabilis ang pagbalik ng ating mundo sa normal. So how can we heal the world and make it a better place? Of course, we need to take care of it. And they say, the foundation of volunteerism is love. And as Mother Teresa said that it cannot remain by itself, love has to be put into action and that action is service.
So, the last element of volunteerism is support. Finally, every worthwhile volunteering endeavor needs the unremitting support of individuals, corporate bodies, and even the political authority. So, why do volunteers need support? It helps the volunteer to carry out their role to the best of their ability. If volunteers feel supported, they are more likely to be committed and satisfied with their experience. Mas pipiliin kasi nila na mag-volunteer ng mas matagal at mas manghihikahit pa sila ng iba na tumulong kung alam nila na may nagsusupport sa kanila. The Filipino Youth The Filipino Youth, as the hope of the future, are considered as the most valuable resource of the country. The youth's enterprising spirit and progressive idealism can contribute a lot in our desire to build a progressive Philippines. So, Philippine youth, tayong mga kabataan, kinoconsider tayo as most valuable resource of the country. Dahil napakalaki ng kaya nating i-contribute sa ating bansa. Dahil kaya nating, marami tayong kayang gawin, especially malalakas tayo, matatapang yung mga kabataan ngayon. Pagdating din sa mga pag-iisip ng mga ideas, sa pamamagitan nun, kaya nating makatulong sa pag-develop to make progress ng ating bansa. The Youth in Nation Building Act or Republic Act 8044, which was enacted in 1995, established the National Youth Commission. So, ibig sabihin na itong NYC, isa siyang ahensya ng gobyerno na particular na tumutugon sa mga issue sa paligid or issue sa mga kabataang Pilipino. And the National Comprehensive and Coordinated Programs on Youth Development. Ito naman, lumilikha ng mga estruktura upang magpatupad ng pareho at naangkop na sapat na pondo upang magbigay ng suporta para sa programa at pagpapatupad ng mga estruktura sa isang patuloy na napapanatiling batayan. Yun yung, um, ano niya, yung layunin. This act defined the Filipino youth as those with ages 15 to 30 years old. So, yun, Um, yung act na yun, dinadefine niya yung um, Filipino youth na may edad 15 to 30 years old. Yung kayang magsagawa nun. Role of the Youth in Nation Building The 1987 Philippine Constitution have clearly recognized the vital role of the youth in nation building. The Constitution, in recognizing the importance of the youth as partners of the government in nation building, created a specific constitutional provision for the promotion and protection of the physical, moral, spiritual, intellectual, and social well-being of the youth. Likewise, as youth as the future of this land, the Constitution instructed the state to inculculate on the minds of the youth the concept of nationalism and patriotism while encouraging them to be involved in public and civic affairs. Dito naman sa may role of the youth in nation building, noong, 19, uh, noong pang 1987, yung Philippine Constitution, kinilala na nila yung kahalagahan ng role ng kabataan pagdating sa nation building. Tapos, ang konstitusyon sa pagkilala nila sa kahalagahan ng kabataan bilang kasosyo ng gobyerno sa pagbuo ng bansa, lumikha sila ng isang specific na provision o provision ng konstitusyon para sa promotion and protection ng mga kabataan. Yun nga, sinasabi na ang kabataan ay future nitong ating bansa. Inatasa ng konstitusyon ang estado na ituro o parang ilagay sa isip ng mga kabataan ang konsepto ng nasyonalismo at patriotismo o pagkamakabayan. Habang 
ini-encourage naman nila na makisama, maki-involve sa mga gawaing uh, pampubliko at sibiko. Volunteer Act of 2007 or Republic Act 9418, an act institutionalizing strategy for rural development, strengthening volunteerism, and for other purposes. Ito namang <clears throat> act na to ay nagsasagawa to ng strategy, nagsasagawa ng strategia para sa kaunlaran o para sa pagpapaunlad ng mga nasa rural area. At para din <clears throat> palakasin yung volunteerism doon at iba pang mga linein. Yung Volunteer Act of 2007, ito ang magiging patakaran ng Estado na itaguyod ang pakikilahok ng iba't ibang sektor ng lipo ng Pilipino. At kung kinakailangan, international at dayuhang voluntaryong mga samahan sa mga gawaing pampubliko at sibiko para gamitin, palakasin, <clears throat> ang pagsasagawa ng volunteerismo bilang isang diskarte upang makamit ang pambansang kaunlaran at pangunawa sa internasyonal. Ang pagtuturo ng volunteerismo bilang isang paraan ng pamumuhay ay muling nagpapabuhay o magpapabuhay sa bawat Pilipino <clears throat> sa tradisyon sa bayanihan upang mapalakas ang katarungang panlipunan pagkakaisa at napapanatiling kaunlaran. Volunteer Act of 2007 Legislation that recognizes volunteerism or bayanihan. Ito naman, batas na kumikilala sa volunteerismo o bayanihan. Let the government partnership achieve the desired transformation, development, through volunteerism. <clears throat> ito naman, uh, hinahayaan nila, ay hinahayaan ito ang pakikipagsosyo ng gobyerno na makamit ang nais na kaunlaran sa pagbabago sa pamamagitan ng volunteerism. Next, this act recognizes different rules in the different <clears throat> sectors. Ito naman, kinikilala ng act na to ang iba't ibang mga tungkulin sa iba't ibang mga sektor. Next, and encourage academic institutions to continuously teach and practice volunteerism. Ito naman, ini-encourage din nila yung mga sa mga school ganoon, para lang pang akademiko na institusyon na patuloy na magturo at magsagawa ng volunteerismo. The three main objectives of the Volunteer Act of 2007. One, it aims to provide the policy framework that shall underscore the fundamental principles necessary to harmonize the broad and diverse efforts of the voluntary sector in the country into an integrative and effective partnership for local and national development as well as international cooperation and understanding. Being a framework, the Volunteer Acts recognizes the different roles of different sectors of society including government. It is tasked to provide the environment for volunteerism to prosper. It shall be facilitative, coordinative, and promotive in performing its function. 2. To provide a conducive and enabling environment for volunteers and volunteer service organization by a setting mechanism to protect volunteers' rights and privileges and give due recognition to highlight their roles and contributions to society. We must protect the rights and privileges of volunteers and give due recognition to highlight their duties because they are one of those who need to be respected for their good deeds without waiting for any reward because they are sincere in their heart to help others. 3. To provide an effective institutional mechanism to strengthen the role of the Philippine National Volunteer Service Coordinating Agency or 
PNVSCA to perform its mandates and to oversee the implementation of this act. PNVSCA mandate is to promote and coordinate volunteer programs and services in the country to maximize the benefit that may be derived from volunteer assistance and properly gauge the contributions of volunteers to national development and international cooperation. Benefits of Volunteering 1. Volunteering connects you to others. One of the more well-known benefits of volunteering is the impact on the community. Volunteering allows you to connect to your community and make it a better place. Even helping out with the smallest task can make a real difference to the lives of people, animals, and organizations in need. And volunteering is a two-way street. It can benefit you and your family as much as the cause you choose to help. Dedicating your time as a volunteer helps you make new friends, expand your network, and boost your social skills. 2. Make new friends and contacts. One of the best ways to make new friends and strengthen existing relationships is to commit to a shared activity together. Volunteering is a great way to meet new people, especially if you are new to an area. It strengthens your ties to the community and broadens your support network, Ex exposing you to people with common interests, neighborhood resources, and fun and fulfilling activities. 3. Increase your social and relationship skills. While some people are naturally outgoing, others are shy and have a hard time meeting new people. Volunteering gives you the opportunity to practice and develop your social skills since you are meeting regularly with a group of people with common interests. Once you have momentum, it's easier to branch out and make more friends and contacts. 4. Volunteering is a good for your mind and body. And body. Volunteering provides many benefits to mental and physical health. It helps to counteract the effects of stress, anger, and anxiety. The social contact aspect of helping and working with others can have a profound effect on your overall psychological well-being. Nothing relieves stress better than a meaningful connection to another person. Working with pets and other animals has also been shown to improve mood and reduce stress and anxiety. 5. Volunteering combats depression. Volunteering keeps you in air regular contact with others and help you develop a solid support system which in turn protects you against depression 6. Volunteering increases self-confidence You are doing good for others and the community which provide a natural sense of accomplishment Your role as a volunteer can also give you a sense of pride and identity and the better you feel about yourself the more likely you are to have a positive view of your life and future goals. 7. Teaching you valuable job skills. Just because volunteer work is unpaid does not mean the skills you learn are basic. Many, volunteer, many volunteering opportunities provide extensive training. For example, you could become an experienced crisis counselor while volunteering. Volunteering can also help you build upon skills you already have and use them to benefit the greater, the greater community. For instance, if you hold a successful sales position, you can raise awareness for your favorite cause as a volunteer advocate. While further developing and improving your public speaking, communication, and marketing skills. 8. Gaining career experience Volunteering offers you the chance to try out a new career without making a long-term commitment. It is also a great way to gain experience in a new field. In some fields, you can volunteer directly at an organization that does the kind of work you're interested in. For example, if you're interested in nursing, you could volunteer at a hospital or a nursing home. Your volunteer work your volunteer work might also expose you to professional organizations or internships that could benefit your career.
as a student, what you can contribute to the transformation of the Philippines? 1. Study hard and finish your course. Because the sooner you get your professional qualifications, the sooner you can contribute to society in a positive way. 2. Attend your personal and filial responsibilities. Pay your taxes, respect our laws and your fellow men. 3. Respect or obey the laws and rules of the land. Obeying law is the duty of, peop of people and they must not break rules which is considered as the violation of the law. Laws are concerned with foundation of social order and preserving the so society as whole. So obeying rules makes our community peaceful and safe. It is obligatory for every citizen to obey the all laws that set by the government. 4. Be an active citizen within the bounds of the law. An active citizen is someone who cares about their community enough to change it. You can become an active citizen and help to make your community a better place. 5. Join organizations or associations created for the betterment of our society. Join an organization that helps the marginalized. I don't mean for rallies and protest actions. Find an organization that actively helps the least of us whether through simple weekend classes for underprivileged kids or helping our community. Sign up for Gawad Kalinga Builds. 6. Learn more about our historical or cultural heritage. The first thing that we should do as a Filipinos is to educate ourselves uh, about our history in, or, in order to understand how and why our country is in this present state. Also, it is important that you should study our history, adapting a Filipino point of view and not the colonizer's point of view. Cultural heritage is central to protecting our sense of who we are. It gives us an irrefutable connection to the past, to certain social values, beliefs, customs, and traditions that allows us to identify ourselves with others and deepen our sense of unity and belonging and national pride. 7. Love your country, your culture, traditions, and your people. The act of patriotism and feeling patriotic are things which will make for a stronger nation. Not only will, not only will you be able to relate well to others in your shared love for this country, but the more individuals who express their patriotic feelings, the stronger our co country will be as a whole. 8. Be a human person that is acting within the bounds of morality. A person whose morality is reflected in his willingness to do the writing, even if it is hard or dangerous, is ethical. Morality protects life and is respectful of others. 9. Follow and respect your parents. I believe that can help it can help us children to responsible individuals. First, our parents are, are older and wiser which means they have seen more of the whole and have a lot of experience with what is bad or good for us. 10. Take part in any activities or, or organization that take part in the nation building. If we join in organization, it has the power to help a country develop and move towards progress. It's also responsible for bringing social reform within a country. The youth of a country determine the future of a nation. 11. Be a good ambassador where, wherever you go because it will reflect your nationality. An ambassador must always realize that he or she is an embodiment of his home country in his receiving state, meaning the way and manner in which he presents himself determines the way his country will be regarded by his receiving state. He or she must uphold his country's integrity at all times. 12. Always do what is right in the eyes of man and God's eye. By doing the right thing, you tend to get the same things back. Give value to people, help them, and they will often want to help you and give you value in some form. Not everyone will do it, but many will. 13. Vote wisely during elections. Our civic duty, aside from obeying rules, obeying traffic rules, celebrating Olympic victories, and paying taxes, is to vote wisely. 
We need to vote wisely because we need to be sure that the responsibility is given to the right person to make sure that is that if that person can really fulfill the position. Speak yourself. Use your voice and vote for the rightful person. As a Filipino citizen, you can help buy through do not buy smuggled goods. Ito yung mga goods na illegal na ini-import o ini-export. Kapag ito ay labag sa batas o pinagbabawal, nangangahulugan na ito ay ang smuggler na nagpuslit ng mga goods ay lumabag sa batas, hindi nagbayad ng mga legal na tungkulin at liham na pinamamahala ang ipamahagi ito. Lumilikha ng hindi patas na kompetisyon sa mga illegal na institusyon na nagbibigay ng parehong goods. Ang ilan sa mga goods na ito hindi sumailalim sa mga quality checks kaya naman ito ay makakasama sa ating kalusugan. Follow traffic rules. Traffic rules help protect you on the road as well as everyone else driving on the same road. People should know about the traffic signs and rules that should be followed while driving any vehicles on the road. Whenever you buy or pay for anything, always ask for an official receipt. Kailangan pagbibili ka sa isang grocery store or kahit anong store ay manghihingi ka ng resibo para kung sakali man na iba pala yung nabili mo or may na double punch sa mga pinamili mo ay may maipapakitang proof sa kanila na dun ka bumili sa store nila. When you talk to others, especially to foreigners, speak positively about our race and our country. With positive words, we can successfully convey kahit na nasa mahirap tayong sitwasyon o kahit ano pa yan, dapat lagi tayong positive with encouragement. Do not litter. Dispose of your garbage properly. Segregate, recycle, conserve. Dapat matuto tayo magtapon ng basura sa tamang tapunan at para mapangalagaan natin ang ating kapaligiran pati na rin ang ating kalusugan at yung mga plastic na pwede pang ma-recycle ay makakatulong sa mga mag-aaral. Support your church or charitable or civic organizations sa pamamagitan ng mga donations pagtulong sa mga charity. Halimbawa ay yung mga tree planting at pag-donate ng mga damit na hindi mo ginagamit na pwede pang gamitin ng ibang tao. Adapt a scholar. Ang mga scholar ay nakakakuha ng tulong na pang-edukasyon sa matrikula at mga kagamitan sa paaralan na yung sponsor ng pribadong kasosyo sa individual na sektor ng negosyo. Be a good parent. Teach your kids to abide by the law and to love our country. Disiplinahin hanggat bata pa. At turuan ng mga tamang gawain at ikwento natin kung gaano kaganda ang ating bansa. At turuan na huwag gagawa ng masama. Pay your taxes. Ang buwis ay kailangan bayaran dahil ang buwis ay mapangkukunan ng pondo ng gobyerno upang maitaguyod ang lahat ng mga programa ng lipunan katulad lamang ng imprastakturang paaralan at lahat ng sweldo ng mga kawani sa iba't ibang sangay ng gobyerno. Ito rin ang pinagkukunan ng mga pondo ay, ay gunugol sa mga pagbabayad ng pinagkakautangan ng ating bansa. Sa particular, ang mga pondo ay nakuha para sa kaligtasan ng bansa. Bilang mga residente ng isang bansa, layunin nating magbayad ng buwis. Sa Pilipinas, makikita natin ang buwis sa lahat ng mga produkto at serbisyong ating binabayaran. Kapag ikaw ay mayroong lupa, negosyo, at iba pang mga pag-aari, minsan, yan rin ang pinagkukuwanan ng buwis. Have faith in the divine providence that guides the destinies of men and nations. Love your country, for it is the home of your people, the seat of your affections, and the source of your happiness and well-being. Lead and respect your parents. Sometimes we think our parents cannot understand us and they get in the way of our happiness. This is why many of us have experienced rebelling against our parents at some point, especially when we were still teenagers. Honor the memory of our heroes. While we can do no longer be kind to someone that has passed away, we can be kind to their memory and their family members. Lead a clean and frugal life. 
There are so many benefits to living a frugal life, starting from saving extra money to responsible consumption. As I see it, the meaning of frugal life is talking your life into your hands to create a better future for you and actually a living life.